thought I'd try and give this a go in my hair. I've been natural now for a year and a half since I've stopped relaxing my hair. So I thought, you know what, in between protective styles, which I've been having for the last year and a half, um, I thought this is the best thing to try. So let's start with number one. It's quite easy, the instructions. You have step one, which is a cleansing shampoo. And then step two, which is the leave-in conditioner. Okay, here it goes. Right, I've just taken out my braids and the twists that my hair was in. You can see how um, natural, 4C hair it is. So as I said, this is, I done the big chop uh, a year and a half ago, cut all my hair off, cut all the relaxer out and started again. And this is the, this is the growth I've had in a year and a half. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Right, and now I'm gonna start with the first step, which is the shampoo. Now it says to shampoo three times. The first shampoo, it didn't really lather up. The second one, it lathered up nicely. And now this is my third shampoo. Give it a good cleansing, scrubbing. Now this um, beautiful texture is naturally straight. Let's see, we'll see what it does in the end. But yeah, this is a, the third shampoo as I said. So now I'm going to rinse and add the conditioner. Now that my hair has been thoroughly washed, we've done step one of the shampoo. I'm going to just slightly, just blot it dry, not completely dry. And now it's time to add step two, the, the um, inner active leave-in conditioner. We'll give it a good shake first. And then what I'm gonna do is section my hair Better to put it in in sections, I feel, because that way you can, you can cover, you make sure you've covered all your areas. Now, I'm gonna add the leave-in conditioner. Now, they say not to add too much. You don't want to oversaturate your hair. So, it's quite runny. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to this section of hair. You get it right in, you do your edges. right from root to tip. As I said, I'm, I like to do it in sections and then I'll just comb through this section that I've just done as well, just to make sure it's all coated with the conditioner. section and do the rest and we'll come back okay now that my hair's coated with the step two leaving conditioner I've just combed it through and now I'm going to cover it my hands up first. Okay. I'm just going to cover it now and leave this on for 20 minutes, as the instructions say. So see you in 20 minutes time. So what's my hair's conditioning at the moment? I'll tell you a bit more about this product. Um, beautiful textures, naturally straight. So it's chemical free, so it's not like a relaxer at all. And it says it's reversible. So it's straighten your hair. And then once you've washed your hair, it should revert back to your natural curls. So I'm curious to see how straight this will make my hair. Now, the next stage, after 20 minutes, is to blow dry the hair. So, this is what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna part it out and blow dry it in sections on a medium heat as well. I don't want it too hot. I 
forgot. Right, before you dry, start drying by drying your hair, I'm gonna squirt on a bit of heat protector. Blow dry, blow dried, and nice and dry. I just had it on a, a cool setting for the last minute, really cold setting, just to cool everything right down. So now, right now, the next stage is to flat iron the hair. So I've got me flat iron, ready, heating up. But before I do that, I'm going to put a bit of um, the Biotin Rich Hair Butter. This is by Artisan Collections. So I'm going to add a bit of that in my hair. That's what it looks like. It's so rich with sheer butter, biotin, and all natural oils. So I'll add a bit of that before I start flat iron in the hair. This makes the hair soft, moisturising. I'll also put the link for Artisan Collection um, hair butter below in the description. There. Oh, that feels better. I mean, the hair, I mean, it feels a lot softer. So I just want to start flat ironing it. Just making sure, get all the body butter, the hair butter, sorry. Right in. I like to section parts of the hair. make sure all the strands are covered nicely. Now I'm going to start flat ironing my hair and the trick is to do it in small sections. try and get more of the roots uh, right at the root. can't believe how straight it is. Wow, it, it <laughs> looks better than a relaxer. Ideally, you just want to um, just pass the flat irons through just twice. I don't want to overheat my hair, to be honest. I don't want heat damage after keeping it natural with no heat for a year and a half now, so. So far, 
I'm really impressed, I have to say. Let's, let's do some of the front. That feels lovely. So soft. Wow. So far, I'm impressed with how straight my hair is. Nearly finished. But yeah, <laughs> it might need a bit of a trim as well, I think. Yeah. Yep, very impressed with how straight my hair is. It does need a trim though, but. Mm. So it's feeling soft and manageable, as the box says. So I really do like this. So this is going to be my go-to when I'm between protective styles. So it's, it's absolutely perfect. Now, just to finish it off, I'm going to give my scalp some chamomile infused healing hair oil. And this again is by Artisan Collections. Again, natural oils, chamomile infused oils. So this is what I'm doing. Out a good moisturising with the chamomile infused healing hair oil from Artisan Collections. There. Just making sure I massage it well into the scalp. And it's so soothing and it's so light. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, oil down the face. Hmm. Okay, now I've completed my hair and as I said before, I am really, really, really impressed. It's come out dead straight, nice and manageable and uh, the additional products that I did use were the Artisan Collection Biotin Rich Hair Butter and the Artisan Collection Chamomile Infused Healing Hair Oil, which does give a nice, soft, manageable shine as well to the hair. So if you're hesitating whether to try that uh, the straightener, you know what? Don't, just, just do it if you want to give your hair a break from using chemical relaxers. Thank you for watching.